What's happening gamers? It's Roll Easy and I'm back. Finally, Hurricane Irma is officially gone. They've retired her name. She was a hell of a storm, but that's it for her. Uh, yeah, everybody I know that was close to me is safe. Uh, we're all good. My heart goes out to anybody else who's still struggling because of this massive storm. She was crazy. But uh, today, we're going to be talking about the tunables update that just you know occurred here in GTA 5 Online. We have right here the brand new car, the Dubashi Rapid GT Classic. Now, uh, by the description, you know, they, they say some pretty good stuff, you know, like a fine claret or a really good boob job each passing year adds something serious to its allure. You know, they're, they're really talking highly of this car, and I'm not a big fan of the classic cars in this game, let me tell you, but I really did want to take a look at this one, and I wanted to give you guys kind of a review. So, uh, yeah, make sure to, you know, make sure to like the video, guys. I'm back. I I'm going to keep coming out with daily videos. Uh, subscribe if you're new and turn on them post notifications. This will not stop. I told you that. I'm always going to be coming out with videos as long as I can, uh, as, as frequently as I can as well. And, uh, yeah, so we just ordered it. It's a little under a million dollars, 885 to be exact, 885,000. Uh, so it will break the bank. And uh, here it is. This is how it looks, completely stock. It just got delivered to my garage, literally just spawned there. I wanted to show you guys how it looks, just a black stock uh, car, you know, just the Rapid GT Classic, the way it looks without any sort of modifications. And we're going to go ahead and take this into the mod shop and kind of see what it has to offer. Now, I was expecting, not, I wasn't expecting much, really. Uh, I did see an image of an engine coming out, and that's what really made me want to get the car. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to fast forward through this, and as you can see, the engine upgrades, that's what really, really grabbed my attention towards this car. It just looks mean as hell with those with those pipes coming out of the side, man. The, uh, the engine just coming out of the middle, it looks really mean that way, and that's what I loved about it. Uh, you know, on the side, you got the muffler pipes going off. It just, it looks mean, and I was feeling a black and yellow vibe with this car. I'm not sure why, so that's the theme that you see right here me going for. Uh, yeah, I put the, you know, the muscle rims on them too, uh, you know, you gotta tint the windows and check out the finished, you know, the finished product. I think it came out pretty well. Now, when it comes to drivability of it, uh, what can I say about how it drives? Well, uh, right off the start, you can tell it's got massive amounts of power to the wheels. It's, it's a muscle car, you know, it's just, it's got straight horsepower to the wheels. You can do crazy burnouts with this. Uh, it can cut corners fairly nice, I'm not gonna lie. You can definitely, if you learn how to kind of, you know, drift uh, by pressing right bumper on the Xbox, I'm not sure what it is on PlayStation, but yeah, if you can learn how to hit that E-brake and drift around corners with this thing, oh yeah, you can you can do some awesome stuff. I was just testing the 360 there. I test it with every new car I buy just to see how easy it is to do. Just a cool little move. Um, it gives me a little handle on the, you know, the, the movability of the car. Uh, and check out the inside. The inside is really nice. I went into first person to show you guys. Uh, you know, it's a nice looking car. I'm not going to lie. Probably one of my favorite classics that they've come out with so far. Now, a lot of people were waiting for some newer, you know, content like uh, some new planes. This is the Smuggler's Run DLC. And you would think that, you know, some of the first content we would get would be a plane or a helicopter or something like the Hunter. Something like that. But we didn't. I, I don't know when we will. Hopefully next Tuesday we're going to be getting a nice update and we'll be getting some sort of new aircraft. But for now, we got to deal with this. Uh, would I recommend buying this? I think I would. Uh, if you have the money. That's, that's saying if you have the money. If you don't have money to blow, do not buy it. But it's a nice car if you are a collector and you love classic cars. It's, it's a must buy if you're a classic collector in this game for sure. I know there's a lot of you out there. Uh, if you guys are just enthusiasts of just regular cars you might like it but uh i i might keep this i'm not sure yet but i'm definitely leaning towards keeping this car i do enjoy it i think it looks really mean and to me it's about how the car looks for the most part i won't be using this for many races i don't think but uh but yeah so that's my that's my take on it i'd probably give it a six and a half out of ten uh, yeah, that's it's not amazing, but definitely I, I I'm excited to have it as part of my collection Okay, so now we're gonna get into some news I got a bunch of stuff to talk about like I said, I'm back from the hurricane the hurricanes over I will be uploading normally now everything is back to normal. I did get power back yesterday I didn't but uh, today I woke up in the morning and we do have power back now 
Uh, we do also have double payouts, guys, for the tunables update. Um, part of that, we got some double payouts and bonuses, and I'm going to go over them. So Motor Wars, the adversary mode, still has double money, double RP. So you can take advantage of that. The big one that people are going to be excited about are all the Rockstar created stunt races. Those are all double money and RP right now. So take advantage of the stunt races. They're fun. You're going to rank up quick and you enjoy your time doing them, you know, and you make a pretty good amount of money if you're coming in, you know, first, second or third most of the time, especially first. You're, you can make upwards of 20, 30 grand off of each race if you're really good at them. So take advantage of those while we still have them now, guys. Uh, they're also handing out double GTA money and RP for the Smuggler's Run cell missions through September 18th, I believe. I need to double check that, but yeah, guys, take advantage of that. I do believe that the full warehouse now sells for about $1.7 That's a huge payout, massive payout. So make sure that you take advantage of that, have some fun, do some missions with your friends. Speaking of missions with your friends, uh, it's apparently Securo Serve Employee Appreciation Week here in GTA 5 Online. Uh, what that means is you're going to get double GTA salaries for helping your um, your friends out. So if you guys sign in as a, not as, a, as an MC president, but as a Securo Surf CEO, if you sign in as a VIP or a CEO and you got associates or bodyguards, they will make double money. So you and your friends can help each other out and make a lot of money with the, with the hangar missions and, you know, the smugglers run missions. Definitely recommend those to have some fun with this game today and uh, for the rest of the week until next Tuesday. Now... I got some uh, some information on the solo money glitches that have been going on. Since I've been gone for a little bit, I wanted to kind of update you guys. At the making of this video, which will probably be an hour before it's posted or so, uh, the, the only solo money glitch working right now is the Sultan RS car duplication glitch, which is the one I posted. That one works better for Xbox, but it does work as well for PlayStation. Um, the thing is, it's the controller type. If you, I, do, I will have a link down in the description. Uh, fully detailed on both little money glitches that you can do with the Sultan RS dupe glitch. Uh, they're both really good. Just one requires custom plates, the other one doesn't. Uh, apart from that, we did also have the director mode glitch, which you can make crazy modded outfits, and it was a money glitch as well. Uh, that one was solo, but it was just patched. I just checked before I started recording this audio, and the director mode glitch has been patched, and that was the workaround for it. I don't know if they were, they're going to find another workaround soon, but I do know the current one has been patched completely. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if it's a hotfix or a patch. Speaking of that... And by the way, that was only for PS4. The, the reason I never uploaded that because it was only for PlayStation 4. We could not do it on Xbox because it required us to use recent activities, which we do not have on the Xbox. So that was only on PS4, and it's gone for now. I'll keep you updated in case a workaround does come up for that. And uh, speaking of hot fix and patched, guys, I will always update my titles the second I know that a glitch is patched or hot fix. You will see right at the beginning of the title, hot fixed or patched. Okay, so make sure you guys are reading the titles because the titles really are important. I see a lot of people asking me if something's patched when it clearly says it in the title, okay? So be mindful of that so that, you know, we can all get on the same page with the new money glitches and the old ones, what's going on. And that's all the news I have for you today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, don't forget to join my crew. It's down in the description, EZRL for Xbox One players. I'm going to be live streaming eventually, so you definitely want to be part of the crew. So yeah, like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new by hitting the red button. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, guys. I'm out of here.